simple. All right, it's Tuesday, everyone, so it's time for Try It Out Tuesday. And today, a side dish is becoming the main course around the house. Sometimes the most unexpected things can help out in ways that you didn't even know it could. Kyla Peoples found out that this is true with this particular food. What did you find, Kyla? Good morning, Tati. Well, you know, I think almost everyone, including myself, bought multiple bags of this over the past few months, and they might not know what to do with it. Well, I discovered a few ways you can use this long grain starch around the house. Let's try it out. We are gonna check out some of the things you can do around the house with rice. Is your coffee maker looking a little cruddy? Just add a half a cup of rice and a cup of water to the carafe. Swish it around for a few minutes and your coffee maker will be sparkling. If you wanna make your room or closet smell good, put a half a cup of rice in a dish and add some of your favorite perfume or essential oil. Place it in the closet or the room, and now everything smells delightful. If you have some aches and pains, but you don't have a heating pad, rice can actually help you out. What you do is you grab a sock and some rice, put the rice in the sock without making a mess, and then put the sock in the microwave for 30 seconds. And now you have a do-it-yourself heating pad. Ooh. Make sure you choose a soft sock. That's impressive. I Wasn't never thought it though? Of, it's super impressive. I'm like, okay, rice, I see you. Especially when you put it in the little container and put some essential oil on it and then put it uh, in the lawn in the uh, uh, closet. Closet. And, That's a really right, clever idea. Yeah. You know, I've actually noticed that happen with like certain like coffee beaneries and coffee shops. Sometimes they do like rice and like little coffee beans in there. Never thought it would like hold the scent, but it has so far in my closet. Very cool. The sock thing was my favorite though, because you know, sometimes you have that lone lost single sock that needs to be we matched up him. with something. Yeah. <laughs> Match it up with some rice and put it in the microwave, girl. It'll Ex help you out. <laughs> exactly. And if you could reuse it, like just tie it up and then, you know, you could probably get a few uses out of it uh, at least. So talk I to me. I actually did. Did you? Okay, yeah, I good. did. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about using rice in your beauty regimen. Now, this is actually something that I've, I've done numerous times. You can actually use it for your face. Actually, it's rice water. Let me be specific, okay. rice water for your face and your hair. You can include rice water once you cool it down. Instead of pouring it out, you can put it uh, as a facial or um, as a hair rinse. And it is great. I do it once a month. Okay. I've seen those rice water uh, videos on YouTube. All right. I was like skeptical. I was like, do people really do this? But clearly they do. They do. And you actually have to ferment it for a couple of days. Okay. Like you have to put it in a container, put it away, and then bring it out. Um, it is it is a wonder. I've noticed a, a vast like change in my hair since I started doing it. Okay, good tips, Kyla. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tati. Have a good one.